Hey, good afternoon, folks. This is uh, Malachi from uh, Creative Suit and Art Center. Um, and this is our second wellness chat of the year. We'll be joined with uh, Mashika Thomas from A Healthier You, Incorporated very soon. Uh, she's going to be coming on to, to be discussing her very new uh, wellness programming that we're partnering with her to present. Um, specifically, um, it's a community-based program that we're looking to launch uh, next month, which will be February 2nd of next month. And yeah, we have some exciting um, things to um, talk with her about to kind of get people familiar with the new program. And here she is. She should be coming on shortly. But bam. Waiting. Connecting. Hey, hey, Michelle, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm, I'm going good. to switch my camera around. There we go. Much better. Hold on. Get ourselves together. Let's go. Yes, how are you? <laughs> Pretty good. It's a good Happy Sunday. Sunday. Right, happy Sunday. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a good Sunday talk class this morning, so um, I guess a good way to start the class to class like late last night so i'm feeling like yogied up all weekend <laughs> <laughs> i feel that i went on a hike this morning it was beautiful oh nice i mean it seemed like a good day for it yes i did about four miles so it was a great a great way to oh, start wow. sunday yeah nice um i guess as we progress through the year we guess the weather's going to be changing soon i definitely want to take advantage of that and yes. yeah yeah and we're so close to spring. Like spring is like maybe less than fifty days away. Right. I'm looking on the bright side. Like we're just counting down the days. We're already in the new year. We just have to make it to you know March, April, whenever that that shift happens. So definitely excited about it. Likewise, me too. But yeah, just wanted to have this conversation with you um, as part of our wellness chat series that we've been doing for I think for as long as I can remember. I think since last. April or May, I guess once things, once outside closed, you know, we just decided to take a lot of these conversations on Instagram just to make them accessible and, you know, engage with people. And um, I thought it'd be a great opportunity to talk with you about the new program, new program that you'll be offering um, in partnership with Creative Suitland, sponsored by Target, uh, which will be kicking off next month. So before we get to that, if we can just hear about you, tell us about you, your experience, and of course, your new organization, A Healthier You, and just let us know all about that. Awesome. Well, hi, everybody that has joined. Happy Sunday. My name is Mashika Thomas, and I, I'll just start from the year of 2017. Um, I was on a road to get my master's, and someone was like, hey, do you know what a community health worker is? And I was like, no, what is that? And like they started to explain like, oh, you know, you're a community leader, you will help out the community, you're like the bridge between health professionals and just the community. I was like, oh, this sounds like me. I like, I want to be that. So like I took on, while well, I'm in school full time, I took on a whole nother cert because I was like, this is like, this is for me. I, I need this. Like, I want to help the community and this fits perfectly. So it aligned so well with my life that like after I finished the program and was certified, I was able to do internships working with uh, people who are high risk and also HIV positive individuals. I began to work with individuals who wanted to quit smoking tobacco. I began working with individuals who um, black women in particular uh, who just had a baby and, you know, just guiding them through that process and what that looks like and just giving people resources that are in Prince George's County, Maryland, right? Mm. And as I became a leader in the community, I noticed that if I didn't know something, that I knew that a whole bunch of people, even my friends didn't know about it. Because right. there's so many like resources around and it's just a lot that we do not know about, right? Mm -hmm. And so from my journey and just being in the community, I didn't realize like I was starting to harbor some of those feelings and things that I was hearing from other people's stories. And I realized I was just taking it all in. And then one day I started breaking out into hives and I was like, what's mm. happening? Like it started on my face, very uncomfortable. I'm like, is it the detergent I'm using? Like, what is it? 
Next thing you know, the hives started to spread it through my entire body, on my arms. And I'm like, I don't, I like, I don't know. Like, what is this? I go to the doctors. I'm like, I don't use, I like, I don't like medicine. So like, can we help, like, help me understand the root? Because but I don't understand. You're like, yeah, it's not your detergent. It's not this. So my doctor was like, it's stress. Like uh. the next time you flare up into hives, act like figure out what has happened. Because maybe that will, maybe you can identify what is triggering you to stress out and triggering you to break out into hives. Like, this is all internal. This has nothing to do with anything external. So yeah. I was like, okay. Next thing you know, I, I realized as soon as someone would stress me out, I'm like, I'll flare up into hives. Very uncomfortable, like itchy and hot. And I'm like, oh. Yeah. So I was like, you should try yoga. And I was like, yoga. What what is like <laughs> is that like how is that gonna help me out? And this is like now in 2018. I'm like, how is this gonna help me out? They're like, try it. I think you can use this. And mind you, I was an active gym goer. Like, uh, they're like, you don't need that energy. You need like something that's gonna calm your mind. Did my first yoga class. It never stopped. Like mm-hmm. after that, the hives went away. I didn't have to take a pill to relieve, like to not break out into hives. Like. It went away. And I was like, yoga works. Like, right, it right. works. Mm-hmm. And then it became one of those things like, okay, I love yoga. I love meditation and what it does for my mind. How about I offer this to the community? Like, they need to know about this because I'm just finding out about this in 2018. So if <laughs> I'm just finding out about it, I like to think there's some other people who haven't experienced as well. Like, Absolutely. Some people were born into yoga. Some people, you know, they started their journey way longer or way before. And I'm like, I'm a newbie. So, like, if, in my mind, if I'm just finding out the secret to allowing myself to relax and, you know, all that, somebody else need to, like, know about this, too. And then as I started to think about the price that it costs to, to attend a yoga class and to keep up with, it can be very, very costly. Yes. And, you know, I'm very fortunate uh, that I was able to, you know, stick with it and have like a membership pass for it. And I was just like, more people need yoga and meditation. But I'm like, I don't think people know where exactly where to start mm-hmm. or they just not too sure about the benefits that people claim to say. Like they're like, uh, you know, or then you have the religious aspect of it. And, you know, mm-hmm. oh, they heard these things and it's like, well, it's not that. Like, it's really not that. Yeah. So that's kind of like my journey. And then like, I decided to fall more in love with like, you know, taking care of myself, just more self love, more mental health, financial health. And like my background, I have an accounting degree. So I'm all about budgets. And I'm all about okay, like, how can we either make more money and doing what we love to do? And how can we save money so that we can, you know, plan for our long term goals, or even short term goals. And so that's, that's like the financial aspect of myself. And I realized like I do a lot of things that keeps me like uplifted and going. And like I wake up, I do a journal and I do a lot of things. I was like, you need to like bring this to the community. Like you, you have a lot to offer. And like what seems so simple to yourself may not be simple for the next. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people need help with, you know, just getting a start or just having that accountability to be like, Oh, like, just think about all the information you have heard from different people. But like, at those aspects in your life, you wasn't ready for it. So you're like, Oh, okay. And then at one point, you're like, someone says the same thing you probably heard about 10 different people then said it and somehow it resonates, it clicks. And you're like, all right, I'm ready to start now. And like, I'm ready to really get healthy. And sometimes it either takes a a traumatic experience or something that hurts you for you to do that. Or there's something in your mind that's saying, hey, I need to make this change. Like, I want to be healthy, but I don't know where to start. And like, at that moment, it's like, okay, let's get on this journey to becoming a healthier you. And each day we're on that journey. It looks different, but we're striving to be our best selves, however that looks like for that day. Cause you know, our best selves could be doing absolutely nothing. And that is different every single day. As long as you're doing something that suits your body, that suits the mind, the soul, you know, the whole, well-being of yourself i mean that that's what all that matters but i love your point earlier with um i mean you said a lot of gems you dropped a lot of gems just within the past five minutes but the first thing i want to mention is stress you know i think that's something we'll probably talk about later but everybody deals with stress differently everyone is made and shaped 
differently um, and we deal with stress differently or we um, cope with it differently. So some people have, like you said, they work out, they exercise, they sweat it out and then boom, they're back to being balanced or other people eat. Some people don't eat. Some people, you know, do other things that may not be as healthy for their body, but um, everybody's differently. It's all about, you know, being um, disciplined with yourself and being able to um, find those good coping mechanisms to um, keep yourself balanced and not, you know, do something to really throw yourself off balance. With all that being said, um, I think you said something else. It left my brain, but I'm pretty sure we'll get back to it once we get into the logistics with the program. But um, I guess with your organization, a healthier you, like what are your goals since, you know, it's a brand new year? Like what a, so a I, program. A healthier you just really came about. Um, I created a program and I was like, someone was like, are you going to turn this into a nonprofit? Because you should like people mm -hmm. need access to this specific program. And I was like, you know what? I am. And I couldn't think of a name. I was just like, what, what should I call it? I'm not sure. And I was like, a healthier you. Like, huh, this is this works. And so the whole mission of it is to provide mind body activities to individuals and communities who are desiring to create a healthier version of themselves. Pretty simple, very sweet. And however that looks like for you, right? Because mm -hmm. you may balance in your social life and your financial life, but you may not be as balanced when it comes to your mental health. So right. like, no, so we all are in different phases in terms of, yeah, we're good here, but we're not as good over here. So maybe we need to work here too. So um, just creating those activities and allowing people to be um, receive resources and tools to do that. Because sometimes, like I said, once again, people don't know where to start or they just need someone to help them get to where they're trying to go. So you just maybe that bridge to link them to the next step or to the next person who can help them. And that could be a therapist, it could be a nutritionist, it could be um, a chiropractor. It's so many different resources out here. It's not like a one fit all type thing. And I also noticed that with doing, you know, some of these workshops or just talking to people about health and wellness, mm -hmm. incorporating that yoga and meditation component helps out just a lot in terms of people being open to information, receiving information, allowing their bodies and minds to relax, right? And so I noticed that combining information, but also combining like that body aspect to it and that mind aspect to it will allow you to create changes within yourself and your life and all around you. And you're like, wait, how did I get to this point? And it's like, as you start to tune into your breath and as you start to tune into your thoughts, things will start to change or habits start to change your environment, what you see, your perception, all those things change. Mm -hmm. and our vision is that it's really simple as well. We want people to be healthy financially, socially, mentally, spiritually, in every aspect of their lives. We don't want to miss out on anything because everything has an impact on the other, whether we choose to realize it or not. Like if I'm, in so if I'm not socially, say if I feel like I don't have any friends, there's other aspects of my life that may feel like a little off balance too because mm -hmm. Other. Like that may impact my mental health. Or if my financial health is off, my mental health probably may be off as well. Like those things can pour into each other. So the whole point is us to get everyone to be balanced and however that looks like for them. So we created that. And then from there, the goals that we picked for this year is we want to be able to provide people with yoga mats. Sounds mm -hmm. so simple. But listen, as a yoga instructor, like when I teach one-on-one -on -one sessions and it's the first initial like hey do you have a mat it's always no and I'm like okay we need to get people more yoga mats because as lit as long as you can get on your mat that's the first thing that matters like I always talk sitting on your mat even if you choose to move or not as long as you did that that is okay you showed up for yourself mm -hmm. For your mind by just being still or you're going to show for your body and mind by doing yoga and meditation at the same time yeah it's a safe space to create within your own place i mean it you won't get it until you actually have the mat and you actually um just experience it it, it, it happens once you roll it out and you feel all that energy and sweat and negative thoughts go into the mat, which is why the instructor always says, breathe and release into the mat. And then boom, you come off the mat feeling lighter and grounded and centered. But, but yeah, you dropping gems, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, 
you know, um, so that's one of our goals. We want to be able to provide people with yoga mats. I'm like, mm -hmm. however you choose to use the yoga mat, whether it's for fitness, whether it's just being still, but like, as long as you have a yoga mat, we're going to start there. Two, our second goal is that we want to provide people with class passes. Mm -hmm. Now, for those who haven't been to a yoga studio, a class pass is just depends on the studio and their setup. Like some people at some yoga studios, you can sign up if you never did. You can sign up for like a limited two weeks for like $25. Right. And we want to be able to provide people with the experience of yoga. Like here, we're going to give you this class pass. Enjoy this yoga studio that's near you mm -hmm. as long as, as much as you want. I want you to experience what's in your neighborhood. I want you to experience the resources that are around you because Think about it. There's yoga studios that we probably have not been to that's within Prince George's County. Oh, yeah. And it's like, and just think about the people who live in those areas who don't know about it. And like, and granted, it's like, okay, if we help the community by getting them to, uh, getting them a class pass, right, for yoga and meditation, we're connecting them to yoga and meditation, but also the resources within their community. And then also we're giving back to the community by pouring money back into small businesses. So it's yeah. like a win-win for everybody. Like we're mm -hmm. helping you, like we're helping the community get in contact with the yoga, meditation, <laughs> but most importantly, having that safe space. Like we all have that yoga home we can go to, to like reconnect. And so just giving people that chance or like, oh, I like this, you know, studio, or maybe I want to go somewhere else because I realized it was near here. So we want to be able to provide people with that experience. I know that some studios, they may not do a class pass, but they'll do a drop-in, but still, we'll still provide at least a drop-in so that they can get, hey, at least they say they tried it, you know? Right. So we, <laughs> we want to connect people who are wanting to experience that and still give back to the community in some way, somehow. Yeah. Something that the audience may feel that is shocking or unheard of, but you mentioned earlier about PG County having a lot of yoga studios. Not only are there a lot of yoga studios, but there are a lot of black owned and on top of that black women owned uh, yoga studios, you know, particularly one that you and I um, trained at spiritual essence in upper Marlboro. That one is just, an entirely different vibe than I've ever been in. Uh, that's like one of the first studios I started taking class at and training at. It was just unheard of because I'm used to going to mostly white owned establishments. You know, they have their own way of doing things, their own type of, their own culture that they have there. But when you go to a black owned, and like I said, on top of that, a black female woman owned studio, it's, it's a different type of vibe. And it's hard to explain through Instagram live, but you just have to experience it for yourself, but um, I absolutely love your whole point with supporting small black small businesses, especially small black businesses, because we are in the pandemic. We are all struggling in some way or fashion, whether financially or socially, mentally. You know, people need to hug people. They can't do that right now. <laughs> so, exactly. Whatever, however you look at it, people are suffering in one way or another. So supporting people and supporting businesses, I think that. That, that's amazing and it's much needed. Yes. And so our last goal for this year is to provide that psychosocial support group to mm. improve people's mental health, but also add in a yoga and meditation component. So like we want to be, be able to create safe space for individuals to learn about mental health, but not only learn about it, apply it to their lives so that they can create change within themselves and then show their friends and family, but also get more acquainted with the yoga and meditation aspect because yoga, you could do a five minute yoga session and you will feel much better than if you did not. It's just simple, yeah. movement, simple breathing techniques that allow you to release and relax and allow your mind to be centered. So that's another thing that is one of our goals too. So just partnering with uh, other organizations and just creating a safe space for individuals to come, receive information, apply to their lives, make change within themselves, and also experience the beauty of yoga and meditation at the same time. Yeah, let's go ahead and just segue right into the Let's Get Healthy series. Yes, uh, we will be kicking off Tuesday, February 2nd, virtually from 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for those that are not in our um, time zone, but um, tell me all about the program, how it came together, what can people expect, just lay it, all, lay, lay it all out. Well, let's get healthy, right? All right, it's January, so most times we all trying to have these new goals, new needs, oh, yes. 
you know? <laughs> so it's like, okay, let's get healthy. So let's, let's get healthy is simply, it's going to be every first and third Tuesday of the month from six to seven. And each month is going to be focused on a particular topic. So for February, we're going to be focused on mental health. Mm. For March, we're going to be focused on emotional health. For April, we're going to financial health. For May, I believe it's social health. And then the last one is just tying everything all together. Now, with each session, we're going to talk about what mental health looks like to you. How do, do you know what it is? Do you, are you able to recognize it within yourself? Are you able to recognize it within others? Okay, we're going to ask you questions. We're going to talk about these things. And then we're going to ask yourself, what can I do for myself for the next two weeks that's going to help improve my mental health? So by the next session, we're going to check in, hold you accountable. You're going to hold yourself accountable. Mm, I like and that. And then towards the end, we'll do a yoga meditation session. And you're just going to relax and you're going to absorb the information that you have, but also understand what it is maybe blocking you what it is that is hindering you from actually going forth with this new goal and just this tuning into yourself so that you can create those healthy, the healthy lifestyle that you want. So by the end of all the sessions, you will have incorporated all these things and you have the tools, the resources for also receiving that yoga and meditation to be more, to get healthy. So we're going to get healthy. We're going to be on this road together. We're going to hold each other accountable, but we're also going to allow our minds to be in tune with and aligned what we truly want for ourselves because alignment is super important. You know, we have a lot of people who want things, but they're not necessarily aligning themselves with the mm -hmm. right things, the right people, and they just don't know where to start. So we're going to get things in alignment. We're going to, you know, this whole program is just to get people started. And even if you already started, but it could be like a, a, a refresher, Mm -hmm. It could be all those great things and just another tool to be able to spread to uh, friends and family and also to yourself. Yeah, and I feel like it's something that I think we, you touched on this earlier, but just planting the seeds within people's um, daily activities because everyone has like their routine way of living. How do, how do I wake up? How do I spend my mornings? How do I get ready for work? How do I prepare for my nightcap or, you know, dinner, et cetera, or going to sleep? And it kind of just, um, I guess, information that you're presenting within this program gives you those tools to pretty much break some of those bad habits or habits that don't necessarily um, benefit you in the best way. Um, and I think that in general kind of um, goes back to the whole discussion about yoga instructors or just yogis in general. We don't force people to do anything that they don't want to do, um, especially when it comes to like physical asanas on, on, on the mat, you know, you can do whatever you want to do on the mat. Like, I'm not going to be offended. You're not going to be offended. It's just, um, you just, you just take it at your own, at, at your own pace. Um, every asana or physical pose isn't suitable for every single body type. It's modifications for everything, not going too deep into it, but <laughs> the whole point of it is, you know, we want to just plant the seed for healthier. I think someone just, put in here as a hashtag healthier lifestyle that's pretty much the focus everything is not going to be suited for you and for your body and for your lifestyle but taking those seeds and planting them in your mind and allowing them to expand that's the whole point point. and however that translates for you that's all that matters and as long as you learn something from it apply it boom that's a healthier lifestyle a healthier you see that <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> Yeah, anything you want to add? Um, I guess just let the people know what can they expect once they enroll into the program in terms of like the class to class structure. What can they um, do prepare? Anything that they need to know? Yeah, so honestly, you sign up, what you can expect. So, how the class is only an hour. So, when we first come in, we're going to have a transitional moment, meaning we're just going to breathe, get ourselves to relax. And then we're going to get into some information in terms of like, like I said, each month we're talking about something different and we're going to talk about what these topics are, what they look like for our lives, what could be holding us back from doing these things and creating these plans to get us onto the track to where we're trying to go. And then from there, uh, we'll have yoga and meditation towards the end in the last 20 minutes. And then you can take the work that you just received and apply it within the next two weeks. And then we'll do it all over again. And like I said, by the end, you should have incorporated all these concepts into your life and to create a healthier version of, this, of yourself 
or it could just be, you know, maybe one month it may resonate more than the other, but still, you can be able to provide those tools and resources to other friends and families who may be not there yet, but could be useful to the information. And tell a friend, tell families, tell everybody, join. You, mm -hmm. Anybody can join. All you need is a yoga mat. And honestly, if you do not have one, and you're just looking something for something affordable, I'll say you can either go to Five Below if you have $5. And if you have $10, go to Marshalls or Burlington. They have some for $10. And even sometimes $7.99. So <laughs> if you're looking for a mat there, you can go there and grab one and just some water. And if you have books around, you don't have to buy blocks, but if you have books and a belt for as a strap, okay. have that. But we're going to do simple, basic stretches, including with breathing meditation. And so you won't need much. Just bringing yourself and just showing up for you is simply all that is. Yeah. I, thought, I like the thing you said about bringing a friend because I can make people feel more comfortable about doing something completely new um, in terms of what, they, what they're used to doing. So definitely, if you have someone in mind who you would love, to, for love, love for them to join you on the mat, and whether in person or virtually, you just have that support system. By all means, just from the invite, which goes to our next next point, is um, our mission at Creative Suitland is just to make accessible programming and make it as, as affordable as possible. So brought to you by Target. You know, this whole program is sponsored by Target, a local Target in Forestville, right down the street. Uh, we were blessed to receive a community grant, um, a small community grant, just to pay for artist fees to so that we can just pretty much offset the cause of anyone who wants to buy into this type of program. So with all that being said, you know, this program is a dollar minimum. A dollar minimum just goes to, you know, Creative Suitland just to offset costs, for administrative costs, for marketing and um, for, you know, pretty much hosting these programs. That's pretty much it. You know, you're the fee for artists like yourself and for our visual artists. Um, we were at least in this virtual atmosphere we're just looking for more support to support the artists that they do because a lot of our artists all of our artists i would say just do phenomenal outstanding work um and we definitely want to pay them for what they're worth um so again thank you to target for sponsoring this program and yes. it, it just goes a long way because sponsorships like that allow us to really um expand the reach of our um programs because if you get that consistent income per week, that just gives you more incentive to provide um, just better programming. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I'm so thankful for this partnership. It's yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it literally just came came together at the right time because Creative Suitland, um, I guess for those that might not know about Creative Suitland, I see a, a few new faces in the chat, but um, we pretty much shifted to virtual programming. Once the pandemic started, we opened opened up in February 2020 of last year, March of last year. Four weeks later, we had to close the doors and a lot of our in-person programming was, you know, hand dance classes, roller skating. Um, we had a, a family art workshop hosted, uh, sponsored by the um, Prince George's uh, Parks and Recreation on Saturday. So we had like a lot of booming in-person activities that are a little bit difficult to translate into a virtual class. Like how do you do a roller skating workshop online? How do you do hand dance online? It was just a lot of things that we couldn't really figure out right there on the spot. So the way that we approached um, shifting to virtual programming was just to reach out to our local artists. I see C. Thomas in the chat. He was one of the first um, artists that we reached out to who reached out to us prior to the pandemic and we were actually supposed to meet with him I think the week that we shut down and we postponed his meeting and other meetings that we have with artist partners to create um, our full schedule and it just just so happened that our focus was wellness because that is clear and evident that people need mental health resources they need that type of um, outlet so it just so happened that a lot of our programming, our most successful programming has been wellness based. So, um, which led us to the partnership and sponsorship with Target. And that's why we're here. You know, it's creative wellness programming to really get people off their couches, away from their computers for at least an hour, hour, if not for a day, if not more per day to um, do something for themselves, treat their minds, treat their bodies. Um, and kind of just escape from all the mess that's happening on outside. 
Um, and just to give people more instructions on how to register, like I said, it's a dollar minimum. Go to our website, click on the calendar. It'll give you to uh, take you to a Eventbrite page. Like I said, it's a dollar minimum. You are welcome to give more, but uh, literally a dollar to register. Um, and like Mashika said, the schedule is every first and third Tuesdays of the month. And it runs from February 2nd all the way to the end of the, end of the spring. Um, and of course, we are very looking, very much looking forward to next steps with um, this partnership here because we have our outdoor space opening up in the very, 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 very near future. So we're looking forward to hosting some, like, some outdoor classes, whether physical, uh, physical um, like fitness type classes, yoga classes, um, to really get people active and outside and mingling and connecting again because that's what we're really excited about is bringing some life back to the space. Um, yeah, so I guess the next thing I want to just go over is just, you know, what are the next steps for Healthier You? Like, what do you guys have planned for 2021 outside of what we already discussed? So, so far, that is just pretty much it. Um, just building partnerships because we just was established in August 2020. So we are oh. fairly, fairly new. And so um, just connecting with other partners and just telling them, telling them about the things that we offer and provide and just be able to provide safe space for either their clients or individuals who are seeking that safe space. Because um, mm -hmm. once again, just from my background and just being a, a part of the community, I provided a lot of psychosocial support groups for individuals and just creating that safe space for them. So I just wanna continue to do that and partner with other organizations because it doesn't, in order to help everyone, we need everybody to work together. And it's just not a one person fit all thing. It's like, you need partnerships to be able to reach as many people as you would like to meet. Exactly. And speaking on that, like what partnerships are you looking to experience? Like how can people get involved with your organization? Um, so you can visit the website at ahyinc.org. It's um, in our bio and you can find all the information there our goals, the services we provide, and how to get in more contact or more information from us. You can just put in your information on our contact page. We'll definitely reach out to you within one or two business days, and we got you. We got you. All right. That was like my last question. This is how people can get, can get in contact with you. So please go follow A Healthier You Incorporated right on Instagram. Um, visit their website. Show them some love. And um, yeah, if you have anything else to add about the program or anything you want to tell the seven people that we have right now, it's growing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say happy Sunday and do something that makes you feel good today. I'll just say that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, just to, just to recap before we end it all. Yeah, so we um, to just discussed a new program, Let's Get Healthy series, which will be launching February 2nd. Um, like I said, it's sponsored by Target, a local Target, Forceville, Forceville, Maryland. Um, so please support this program. It's only a dollar minimum to register on Eventbrite. Um, again, it's accessible. So it's every other, every other Tuesday or first or third Tuesdays of the month, all planned virtually. Um, so just take some time out of your day to support your mind, your body, and your soul. Um, and just you know, receive the information that Mashika is facilitating and apply it however which it can be applied to your life. Um, again, we don't force or shove anything down your throat that isn't going to be received by your body or your mind or your spirit. Um, it's really just for the benefit of you applying what makes sense and what's um, good for you. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's all I have to say. If you have anything else to add, this was like straight to the point you know we this is great <laughs> educated the folks in this chat <laughs> everyone's like dropping heart eyes and hand waves so <laughs> but yeah if anything else to add no i'm pretty good are you i'm good that's good well i hope but, you have a great sunday yeah we'll be getting out the house soon so i'm excited Yay. masked up though I'm masked up <laughs> <laughs> of course of course well enjoy all right. Thank you. Thank you. Peace and blessings to you all. See you all soon. Bye. Thank you.